Welcome to Tech in 5, where you can get your tech news in five minutes. I'm Madeline. And I'm Christina. And this is your weekly download. Madeline, this week we are following up from our previous episode talking about the importance of IT governance. Mm -hmm. Governance covers all of the rules and regulations and procedures and policies that we put in place on a corporate level. This one's about corporate um, that drive how we interact with technology and the devices and the and the the the, the technology that we have available to us um, on our daily basis in our in our business. It's so important for us to identify proper ways of working with technology and exposing weaknesses and vulnerabilities in our IT landscape that can lead a company into being co becoming compromised for a variety of different reasons. And over the years, as we become more reliant upon technology to communicate, to collaborate, to work remotely, especially during this, this um, pandemic, we also have accelerated or increased the vulnerabilities or the exposure to uh, external threats that come into the corporation and can cost us a lot of money. In fact, in 2021, it's expected that the spend to counter cyber attacks is going to exceed six trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. <laughs> and there's so many ways that we can avoid these types of situations by paying attention to the policies and procedures that our IT uh, team has put in place at our the individual places of work. We can avoid a lot of the mistakes that are happening. But um, you come from a background of cybersecurity. What are your thoughts on this, Madeline? Cybersecurity is so incredibly important. And so when you're not only do you want to do it from a personal level of making sure you're safe, but you also want to make sure your company is safe too. And what I also thought was really interesting is that 61% of employees who do work remotely have indicated their employer has not provided them the tools to actually make sure their devices are secure. So it's, it's, yes, even if you are working on your own device, because there are a lot of companies that do DYOD you know, or BYOD, bring your own device, you want to make sure as a corporate organization, you're actually trying to, to make sure that there is, there's ways to protect your data. Because at the end of the day, the one who's going to get hurt is a company. And you don't want somebody calling up and then suddenly you have a bigger situation on your hands because you could have just kind of re, you know went in there, did some early things to make sure your data was safe. Uh, and, and so when you're talking about governance as well, it's something that it came out of other big scandals in, in our business world, right? When you have data and financial documents missing and going all over the place, well, now that had to be putting into uh, some kind of structure around how businesses and the IT departments work together. Because everything we do now lives in the cloud, lives in some form of you know our computers. So you wanna make sure that, that the rules that are behind that are easy to understand, but also exist in general, that you have some way of doing that. Yes, absolutely. And so, you know, this idea of governance goes um, along the lines of cybersecurity and protecting data uh, or protecting the organization that you, uh, where employees work from potential threats. But it also includes the idea of how do we manage data that we're exposed to? How do we protect personally identifiable information? How do we protect, um, you know, personal information that's not just that, but, you know, your interactions on your cell phone, your mobile phone, the things that you do on social media, where does that lie within the landscape of how um, companies can use that information and how much of that is just um, anecdotal information or just content that's shared on, so on social threads? But IT governance, and uh, the idea of being able to follow some of these uh, measures that are in place to protect information when we, for example, use our email to share company files. That's an exposure right there for, for whatever is included in the files. So we have to understand the importance of encryption methods that are out there, um, multi-factor multi authentication methods that are available for our, uh, consumers to use as well. And to understand that when we connect into networks that are not protected, you know, like when you connect at Starbucks or you go to your library and connect to a Wi-Fi network, these are places where your devices are being exposed and can compromise your personal data. But if you're doing business transactions on those uh, networks, then you're also putting at risk your business data. Um, what, it, what have you seen developing on, on personal fronts, Madeline, for, for IT security? Well, you know, one thing that, and to kind of to your point uh, as well, is that the retention policies, right? Kind of to elaborate more, like there's a lot you can do with your data and your governance, but you also want to make sure just if, how long do you keep your email? 
How long do you keep your messages in Teams? How long are you keeping all that? Because you don't want to have somebody who's pulling something back from seven years ago that may have had something wrong. Uh, so there's so much that's going on. And from an in individual standpoint, there is so much you can do to protect yourself. Just be wise about it. Don't click on stupid links that you don't know. Don't answer <laughs> emails or do things from people you don't know. And if you have a question at any point, ask your IT department. If when in doubt, ask them. There's no harm. There's nothing, you know, you don't have to take any pride in like not knowing it. Just always ask IT. They will always route you in the right direction. Absolutely. And those emails that we get from from other places in the world that's saying that I have a large inheritance to give you yes. or please email me your bank information. Because never, <laughs> never do that. Don't do that. <laughs> never do that. I think we all know those. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're out of time for today. Uh, thanks again, Madeline, so much for, for this information. And everybody, please be secure and safe when you interact with technology. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can follow us on future episodes of Tech in 5.